Webb, doctors could soon diagnose you with a disorder. The American Psychiatric Association is updating its so-called Bible, a very influential manual of di uh, diagnosing mental disorders from depression to schizophrenia, even anorexia. Now, some members have proposed adding internet addiction to the list, but they say they're waiting for a more complete data search to come in. Meantime, scientists in China say they've concluded that too much internet use could indeed ultimately affect the structure of your brain. With us now, Dr. Arthur Kaplan. He's head of the Division of Medical Ethics at New York University's Langone Medical Center. Internet addiction disorder, is this, is this real? Well, here's how you think about it, Chip. If you have a person who says, next drink, next drink, next drink, that's addiction. In other words, they can't do anything except head toward this positive thing, this rewarding thing for them. Delicious thing. Delicious thing, maybe uh, next fix, next fix. Mm -hmm. I don't think too many of us deal with our Blackberry quite that way. We can usually say, I like it, it's hard to keep it away from me, but I can also decide what I want for dinner. I might be able well, to if you, all you have is a Blackberry, maybe, but if you upgrade a little bit to something better. <laughs> maybe might... something better. Yeah. So is it a disease? For most of us, no. It's a bad habit, might be a bad choice, might get your spouse screaming at you to say, put the thing away. Could it be something that you would get addicted to? Yeah, I think that is possible. So at some far extreme, you know, the kid who plays games 18 hours a day wakes up and says, where's the game? That's getting closer to the alcoholism, the, the traditional notion of addiction. Okay.